Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a full coverage foundation routine today. So this is for oily skin, so it's like a matte full coverage foundation look. And it's using all affordable products. They are not expensive at all. And I show you how I use my beauty blender, how I wash it. What prompted me to do this video is I was chatting to Casey Brown, who is a fellow YouTuber and she is such a great supporter and friend to me and she actually asked me like how I use my beauty blender and stuff like that so I thought okay I will show that plus show you my full coverage foundation routine so this is not something that I do all the time but like this is if I want my skin to look like extra nice and as perfect as it's going to get I will say my skin is a lot better at the moment than it was like a month ago I have been taking really good care of my skin. I have been taking collagen supplements and krill oil vitamins and uh, I've started this new nighttime skincare routine. If you want to see that, let me know and I can do a video on that as well. But this is just based on a full coverage foundation routine with affordable products. So I hope you guys enjoy it and let's go ahead and get started. I start off by running the sponge under some water and squeezing it a few times and then I wring it out as much as I can. Then taking a paper towel, I just wrap the sponge in that and squeeze it again a few more times so it's just damp but it's not wet. and you can see it almost doubles in size. As you can see, this is what my real natural skin looks like just with some SPF on it. I'm using two primers today. I'm using the e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer and the NYX Pore Filler. It is not necessary to use two primers, but when I want my skin to look as flawless as it can be, I do use this method. I start with the matte putty primer on my T-zone, so that's my forehead, my cheeks, nose and chin, and I rub that in first. Then using a little bit of the NYX pore filler, I do the exact same thing in the same area because that's obviously where people with oily skin deal with the most oil is in the T-zone. So for foundation, I'm using the Sheen She Glam Complexion Pro Long Lasting Breathable Matte Foundation. I take one full pump of it. Oh my goodness, this foundation is the best foundation I've used and it's only $8.95. Everything that I use is in the description box below. You can see how quickly it covered my, my scars up. It is absolutely amazing. That one full pump does my entire face. It's long lasting. I've worn it up to 12 hours before and had no issues with it. It literally looks like you're just putting a veil and a filter on your face. I absolutely love the finish that it has. So even if you have matte or dry skin, you can still use a foundation like this and just mix in an oil like a beauty oil or use like a hydrating primer. It's still doable. So you can see it's covered up pretty well, but there's a tiny little bit of scars that are peeking through my skin. Just on my cheeks area. So whatever foundation is left on my hand, I'll take a little bit more of it and just cover those areas. Now for concealer, I'm using the L'Oreal Perfect Match Concealer. This is a medium to buildable full coverage concealer. I put a little bit of it under my eyes and on my eyelids because I actually use this as an eyeshadow primer as well. And I put a tiny little bit on my scars. And with the flat side, like the angle side of the beauty sponge, I'm just going to blend all of that out. So now to set my under eyes, I'm using the Stardust Natural Setting Powder and I'm using the pointed side of the sponge. I'm just going to take a very little bit. You don't want to overdo it with powder because it can make you look cakey. I'm 
just going from inner to outer corner with this and I will also set my eyelids as well. To cover the rest of my face for powder, this powder, if you have oily skin, trust me, if you try this, you will not regret it. It's the Maybelline Loose Powder. It's the Shine Free. I use the shade Medium, which is the second shade, I think. I'm just taking a big fluffy brush. I start by patting it onto my skin, and then I will go and rub it in round circular motions. I always like to pat it first, so it's not dragging the foundation around and then I will go in round circular motions to blend it all. Now on to cleaning the sponge. So I just take some hot water in a bowl and I throw the sponge in there. I let it soak for one to two minutes. Then using a brush, brush cleaner, even if you don't have a brush cleaner, using a face wash is absolutely fine. So I'm just gonna put some on, the, on my hand and just rub the sponge in it. Then when I put it back in the bowl of water, I run it and squeeze it a few more times and you can see all the stuff that comes out. I will run it also under the water and repeat the same process. You can add a little bit more of the cleanser on as well. Nobody told me to settle down Day nights and late nights So you just want to do this until the water runs clear when you run the sponge under it. And that's pretty much how I clean my sponge. So any leftover color is just staining. You can't really get rid of that. You do need to replace your sponge every now and again. But that is how I clean it. And that is the end of this video. So I hope it was helpful and that there wasn't like too many steps involved. I normally don't do my makeup like this all the time. It's maybe I wear makeup three times a week, I'd say, sometimes not even that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you like my channel and content, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.